Greetings everyone and welcome. I'm your host Captain Rye and in today's video I'm playing in the Tier 5 Premium US Battle Wagon, Texas, here in World of Warships. Now if you're watching this video on the day that it's initially published, then there's a very good chance that I am currently on board the Texas, visiting it down in Houston. Now as the battle gets underway here, it is domination match mode it is a tier 7 game there are tier 7 carriers in play and there are a lot a lot of tier 6 cruisers and battleships as well to pay attention to now the texas at tier 5 does have a very impressive anti-aircraft suite however dealing with tier 6 and tier 7 planes especially from tier 7 carriers can become a little bit tricky, especially if the carrier is something like the Kaga, which is the carrier on the enemy team. Now, I'm not going to worry too much about those aircraft right off the bat. Instead, I do need to worry more about enemy battleships that will be popping up. There is a tier seven battleship on the enemy team that I am a little concerned about. Pop my scout. Uh, catapult scout there to increase the gun range on this ship try to get shots off at the Leander It's a very inviting target especially given how much broadside he was getting Unfortunately, I managed to miss all of those shots There is the tier 7 battleship that I was talking about that could cause me some concern here That is the Nelson premium battleship very very dangerous because it's a Royal Navy battleship which of course means he can print himself a new ship with his heel and he's also got 16 inch guns versus my lowly 14 inch guns so trying to actually do any reasonable level of damage to him is going to be a bit of a challenge but if i aim for the bow of the ship and i get some regular penetration damage i might be able to hit him unfortunately those shots there while they were lined up beautifully didn't actually do anything they either shattered or they ricocheted my team is off to a very very early advantage here look at this we've gone up and we've managed to push all three of the caps including the b cap which we've nearly captured but there is an enemy destroyer sitting in there with our destroyer unfortunately our friendly destroyer leaves the b cap now we did capture it there briefly so the enemy destroyer is going to have to completely recapture that location. We did secure the A cap there, so that's going to be good for us. It's going to start allowing us to gain points. And we were there for a while capping the C cap point, but driven off by the carrier there. Team does have a destroyer advantage to start the battle, which is always nice and somewhat important here now as i push up towards the b cap point i am being detected from firing my guns there and i am being detected by aircraft now i know there is a destroyer in the cap point up here so i do need to be careful as i start heading this direction fortunately though i do have a friendly destroyer who will ideally help spot any torpedoes fired out of that smoke screen there's the enemy Leander, yet again, giving broadside. Managed to hit him, mostly over penetrations, not a lot of damage there. Kind of disappointed. Now, I'm going to do something that I strongly discourage doing in U.S. battleships at Tier 7 or below. And that's, I'm going to turn my ship around, and I'm going to turn my guns all the way around. And I'm going to let these guns traverse. If you find yourself in a U.S. battleship playing the line or in a premium that's low tier, you don't want to do this. Look how long these guns are taking to traverse. Basically, that's going to take more than 50% of my firepower out of the battle until they get situated back to the other side of my ship. Of course, though, I did have to do this because it was either that or continue into the island or go the long way around the island and I didn't really want to go the long way around the island because this battleship is very very slow in the meantime there are still targets up here for me to shoot at including at least one cruiser and somewhere out there a destroyer so I'm gonna shoot with the rest of my team at this Nelson now the Nelson he's about half strength right there he's on fire which is a good thing so he's gonna burn down anti-aircraft automatically blazing away at the enemy Kaga's returning aircraft. It looks like he launched a strike against our CVs. That could be a problem 
if our CV goes down. Especially because it gives them an air superiority advantage, the ability to go spot our destroyers, which we still have an advantage of, and of course, the ability to strike with impunity on all of our teams. Enemy team manages to secure the C cap point. They're still in the process of securing the B cap point, of course, but now we have ships in there and we've effectively stalled their progress. And uh, it looks like we're actually retaking it. So they did capture it and now we're retaking it. Currently, no one has managed to secure a first blood yet. Surprisingly enough, my team in the lead. There's the first blood award. Finally managed to take out one of the cruisers. That cruiser was Leander, who we were shooting at earlier. Fuso takes him out, and it looks like the Nelson is going to be next here. But you see there, he's using his heel, and he's basically reprinting himself a new ship. Take out actually a enemy destroyer, so that's going to leave the enemy with just one. It looks like the Nelson's, is he going to dodge those torpedoes? Nope, not quite. He takes a torpedo there. That's very, very helpful for the team, because it possibly means he's going to start flooding. Now, he is trying to run away, and he's not being very smart about this. The angle that he's at here, basically, he's got to give broadside to at least one battleship back over here if he wants to turn there. So, big hit by me there. Pretty happy with that hit. Again, no citadels. These are 14-inch guns. Probably not going to penetrate some of that armor. We can see that I actually did manage to shatter on him. But that big hit there combined with... These shots all coming out from all the different battleships and cruisers and everything is finally going to take that Nelson out. So the Nelson is now down. My team is really, really in the lead here. The three to nothing. And we have two of the caps. Haven't done a lot of damage yet in this game, but I have shot down some planes. Always worth nice XP there. So because of the situation, we've now effectively cleared this side of the map. So I'm going to make my turn, going to start heading south to support the team down there. Cruisers down there, down south, get the uh, catapult spotter up again, extending that gun range, getting a better angle, especially on these cruisers. Now I had choice here, I opted to shoot for the French cruiser because he's going to be a little bit faster, a little bit harder to hit there, and in my opinion he's a bit more dangerous than the Furutaka, of course did manage to connect, didn't do any damage there, or not a lot of damage anyway. And now, I'm going behind an island, which is going to impact my ability to fire at both of those cruisers. Really kind of annoying there. And the enemy battleship there, tier 5, Italian premium battleship, very, very tough nugget to crack, was broadside, could have shot him, he disappears too. So now all of the targets that I was going to shoot at have basically disappeared, and that's when the Furutaka pops up. But he's not giving a particularly good angle. Fire off shots anyway, and then the French cruiser over there pops up. Very low health, so I kind of wasted my shots here. I should have waited just a little bit longer, and yeah, all my shots missed too. Not the best angle for shooting at, and he is a very narrow, surprisingly maneuverable little cruiser there. Now, I'm not actually targeting this guy yet, this French baguette back over there, because I figured somebody else would take him out. And speaking of getting taken out, there goes our CV. That was from the Kaga. The Kaga really spent most of his time in this game so far just shooting at him. Fire off shots at the French baguette there. Just the forward two turrets there, I figured... If I hit him, I'm going to kill him, and if not, it's not going to matter all that much if I miss. So, finish him off, plus I have an enemy for Rutaka closing in, so it's nice to have rear guns available. Take out that enemy cruiser, kind of kill secured him, finish him off, and then... Secure a citadel right through the bow plate of that Furutaka. There's my second kill in the game in a very short order, but not quite quick enough to get a double strike, which if you can get a double strike in a battleship, especially a low-tier battleship, that's just some good gameplay right there. In the meantime, the enemy team has actually managed to, yes, surprisingly, kill yet another ship. They've managed to take out one of our battleships, so they are staying in this game, but just barely. In the meantime, though, our destroyers, two of which are all the way back over here. They are effectively following those planes back to their spawn location, and they're going to go find the Kaga. They've already found him once, and they know he's running away, so they know where he is. And as soon as they get around that island, they're going to spot him, and they're going to start shooting at him. They're going to try and torpedo him. They're going to cause him some problems. So because that aircraft carrier spent almost all his game trying to sink our ranger... 
he basically is going to get himself killed by friendly destroyers back over here because, well, he didn't go spot them for his team to shoot and kill. In the meantime, I'm not going to worry about the Kaga, although he is in sight, he is in range, and I can shoot him. Instead, I'm going to try and finish off this next mechs here. And I've already hit him for a pretty good amount of damage in this game. And I really, really do want to finish him off, but then I decide, since I've got an island in my way, the Kaga is where it's going to be. And it would it's always nice when you're a bottom tier battleship, especially if you can get the kill on the enemy CV, especially if they're top tier, and especially if they're a premium CV. So fire off all my shots there at him, come around from the island, there's the New Mexico. Given that the Kaga's position and that he's being chased by destroyers, I'm going to ignore him now. More shots coming in there for everybody else. Cause the Citadel, cause a lot of damage to him, so he's going to be dead anyway. Not going to worry about him. Did take a big hit from the New Mexico. The New Mexico there did cause me some damage. So I'm going to get myself kind of angled and get my shots back in line for dealing with him. Do you need to worry about that CV just a little bit? He could have auto-dropped on me, but it doesn't seem like he's aiming for me. In the meantime, I'm trying to decide here when to take these shots. I don't want to wait too long and risk somebody else getting the kill, almost like that guy did. So fire off these shots there. These shots should kill this New Mexico, even if he manages to bounce most of them, or I managed to miss most of them, finish him off anyway. So there's three kills there. There's more aircraft shot down in this game. I'm actually doing a pretty good job shooting down these tier seven planes, which makes me really, really happy because the Kaga's dead. These aircraft, after dropping, and he did set up an auto drop on our battleships over there, they're not going to do anything now. They're just going to sit there and loiter and get shot down. Speaking of sitting there and loitering and not doing anything, enemy tier 5 premium Italian battleship there. Think about taking shots at him, but these aren't going to matter anyway as we take him out with torpedoes from our Nuremberg. Surprisingly enough, German cruiser getting a torpedo kill. And that's something you see every day. Unfortunately, for that battleship. Got a little too close and couldn't quite secure the kill. In the meantime, gonna take shots at this guy, but nope, we hit a thousand points and secure victory. 88,000 damage done in that battle. Overall, pretty good. Three citadels, three kills, like three for three there. Surprisingly enough though, being a bottom tier battleship and not seemingly doing a lot of damage, actually managed top of the team for XP earned at 1600 base XP. Probably helped that I shot down the most planes on my team as well. Enemy Kaga there, you can see he shot down a lot of planes, got one kill. That's going to be the Ranger that he spent all of his time to go kill. He ended up top of the team for his uh, team. Anyway, that's it for today's video, folks. If you liked the video, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification so you know when I put out new content, and leave a comment down below if you feel so inclined. If you'd like to get some regular channel news and updates, you can follow me on Facebook. If you've got a replay like this one that you'd like to have me take a look at, or maybe see featured on my channel, you can do so by sending it to my email. And if you'd like to watch me play various games live, you can do so by following me on Twitch. You can find the links for all of those in the video description down below. And as always, I'll see you next time. This is Captain Rye, signing off.